who is it dancers is it yes it's the me dylan group of irish dancers and um these photographs um i took them um 1987 and they were up at ardgillen castle yeah so there's a whole group of various people um i'm sure our listeners and lookers would be able to identify especially, hopefully especially like one to the first one there where there's, there's there's three girls and a lad sitting down um, I'm sure we should be able to get names for them. And then there's a group photograph of about 50 or 60 Irish dancers, and yeah. I can see May Dillon's right in the middle waving. That's May in the that's, white, isn't it? That's May in the white, yes. And the white and the yellow, yeah. looking very well. Yeah. So we'll have a, we'll let the camera run across these and see if you can see yourself or see if you're some friends. Um, the next photograph is a, a group of people and I can certainly identify my mother in this photograph and um, this photograph wasn't taken by me, it was actually taken by um, Eugene Murphy from Drogheda who used to do a lot of photography around by Brigham before I started but there's a lot of very well known faces and I can identify everybody but I think once again I think it's nice for you guys to have a look at it and identify it yourself. Um, this photograph, again, it's a nice black and white, and um, it's from St. Patrick's Day, 1983. And I took this one from the square, and there's a lot of people in this one. And if we certainly zoom in on this one, you'll see a lot of people. But you can actually, if you see on the right-hand side, you can see Paddy McCartney, Paddy McCartney, who had a drapery shop. And across the street, he actually had a news agent. Paddy was from Northern Ireland. But if you actually look on the very left-hand side, You'll see a gentleman with a hat and he's got his hand up just his coat closed. And that's the Pudner's Brady. So there's a few very well known identities in this particular photograph. And what I love about this, it's, it's the names of the shops yeah. as well. Now it's just really brilliant. I just. And look how far the, you can see how all the way up the hill and you can see the this bar here. That's, that was the harbour bar. The, the harbour bar yeah. and all. So we're going to let the camera zoom across this to help you identify anybody and just to see how Balbriggan looked the main street in 1983. Yeah, it's a nice shot that one. You, you probably, like there's the likes of, um, if you zoom in, uh, I think that's Joe Yates. It is, I know him to see. That's Mara Garrity. Oh, right, right, right. Um, can't remember him, he's dead a long time. Um, but there's a lot of local stuff you actually see, but that's the Putner's there. Putner's right, great. You know? Yeah. And you can see, you'll, actually you'll see that the central lounge yeah. That was the central at the time. Yeah. You know, so um, it wasn't Fagan's and, and Comfrey's had the shop there. You can see this. Really? The sign. So really? You see there? I hope I scanned that one high res. I think I did. Yeah. So, so, so then it can go in nice yeah. and close. Yeah, so that was called the arcade. That was the yeah. name of it. And what, Alec O'Farrell, wasn't there? Alec O'Farrell. Yeah, Fa Fa yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, this photograph shows the Naga Gilbert and the Gunchy Kenny and yeah we all had nicknames at this time in 1975 John Dempsey's darts do at the Home Patrick Hotel and look at those flares <laughs> you can hardly see the shoe <laughs> <laughs> wonder if he still has them I'd say the Naga still has them I don't know I must ask, I must ask him yeah. Yeah. send me an email and let me know will do This is a St. Patrick's Day shot from 1984 and um, I remember taking this shot very well. It was, it was actually at Dublin Street near the, the original guard station which was opposite the old Savoy Cinema. And this was Mr. Rooney from um, Crevian Park and if you look at his lapel you can actually see the shamrock he had on him for the day. So, his day. But um, nice photographs, he was a very proud man and again captured in black and white which was one of my favourites. Gorgeous, gorgeous and he didn't know his photograph was no, he didn't. it was a 135 no. lens. Yeah I used to do a lot of grab shots of people and it wasn't just because that was the I like to get people Natural. unaware yeah. and naturally and you you know you, you catch them in this type of pose and um, there you have it so I hope your viewers like that one. I'd look at it and I'd put it back into an envelope and it would never come out and I have to say, I've still got photographs in envelopes with negatives that's actually sitting back in my house back in Sydney, and there is thousands, and they, 
they'd probably be still there only for the Barbrigan net. Yeah, only great. for for you contacted me and we got together and I decided to dig out some stuff. But um, I'm afraid my filing leaves a lot to be desired. So there's just thousands of photographs still lined there. But we'll eventually get them over. Eventually, we the don't want to spoil everybody in one yeah. go. We'll, you know, we'll, in the next few years. We'll get we'll get them all up. But um, I do have quite a lot of photographs of various people. And maybe if any of your listeners, if they're looking for some photographs, they can contact me via you, and we can see. Have I got? I certainly have people, images, places. And I still have the original photographs and negatives. So great. And we have an email for you, PJ. You it's have PJ an email. at balbriggan.net. That's it. Okay. Here's another before and after shots. And again, this shows the main street, Balbriggan. Um, you can see the Grand Hotel on the shot that I have taken. And you can see the current hotel on the shot that Tony has taken. And again, if you look at some of the signs, you'll see Paddy McCartney's, you'll see the Allard Irish Bank, you'll see Hair Affair, which was upstairs, and keep going down, Paddy McCartney's again. Um, yeah, nice shot just down the main street, and to say, just looking at Tony's again, the changes is quite amazing. Yeah, yeah. But you must have, because there was no motorway at that stage, everything had to go through the town, so just, it was rarely like that, sure it, it was. wasn't. <laughs> well, it was very difficult to get a shot like that, I have, I have yeah. to say. And you can see, I pro- where I actually, you can see the car just coming yeah, in. It looks, probably, like it, it looks I, like a Volkswagen van or something. Yes, yeah, so I probably yeah. would have pressed the shutter very, well, it was slowly, obviously, to get it like that, but yeah. it was grab shots but you'd never get it because a lot of um, traffic all came via Belfast right through to Dublin yeah. and that, that was the main road at one stage so. and it'd be juggernauts going through the town oh, and yeah. it would just ruin the photographs or to whatever be at, to be at. Um, 1980 and this photograph is right on the, the on the front strand and I used to actually take morning walks on the front strand and the Brigham Beach and Lighthouse and it's always amazed me because no matter what time of the day you, you go down, it's always different. The lighting just fascinated me, and I, I probably, I probably have just an amazing collection of photographs of winter time, summer time around Balbriggan. But this again is one of these shots that I used to go for an early morning stroll, and uh, this was a uh, Mr. Chute from Crevian Park. That's um, the Dan Chute, Martin Chute's father, and he was reading the paper. And this one looks up towards what we would call the the boards or the prawn going up sort of towards there. And um, yeah, just nice photograph, just somebody just out there sitting reading their morning paper. And just, I just thought I captured that one quite nicely, but Mr. Chute. July 1979. The gentleman in the middle, <laughs> I, I know, <laughs> is, um, is actually Brendan Tolan. And I know Brendan very well, because I worked for Brendan from and I was 12 years of age delivering milk from him. Um, I don't know who the guy with the German helmet is. Um, not too sure who the girl is with Brendan. With, and I'm not too sure who this guy, whatever it is over his head he has. I don't know what it is. Oh, yeah, I don't know what that is. No. <laughs> but uh, I'm sure the girl that Brendan's hold, holding is somebody out of his family. But yeah, we'll leave that one to our viewers. But again, this one was taken, it was a Balbriggan breakaway shot. It was from July 79. As you, as you can see, but it was one of these that I used a long lens, kept back and just done a grab shot. And there we have it. <laughs>